Welcome to the 2014 Solvang Century. One, two, three, the Solvang Century is well organized, fun, and a beautiful course. But keep in mind the last half of the ride is much tougher than the first. The first 25 miles to the first rest stop in Lompoc are the easiest of the ride. It's pretty much a 1300 foot descent interspersed with one good sized climb. On the downside, these roads are some of the worst you can ride on and for much of this part of the ride you'll feel like you're doing the Perry roubaix The one climb is a 230 foot one mile climb with grades of 3 to 5 percent but topping out at 9 percent at the top. It does have a great descent on the backside, however. At about mile 21, you'll turn right onto California Highway 1 for a nice descent into Lompoc. The 18-mile stretch from Lompoc to Graciosa Road features numerous small climbs and three sustained climbs. The first is a one-mile, 230-foot climb out of the Santa Ynez River floodplain up to Mesa Oaks. While short, it's about 6%. After Vandenberg Village, you'll rejoin Highway 1 and have a sustained slog, a 4.3 mile, 500 foot climb. The first mile or so of this climb has grades of 5%, then it flattens for the next few miles getting steeper again right at the top. At California Street, Highway 1 turns inland and you begin a climb over the La Parisma Hills into the San Antonio Creek floodplain. It's a nice, fast descent into the creek bottom but you do have to watch for crosswinds. At the bottom, there's about a two and a half mile, 500 foot climb out of the San Antonio Creek. The 15 miles from the Graciosa Road rest stop to the airport rest stop is basically flat. Here you'll pretty much noodle around the Santa Maria Valley for about 15 miles. In fact, you'll lose about 200 feet from the Graciosa rest stop to the airport rest stop. Forget me not. With all due respect to Santa Maria, this is not the prettiest part of the ride. Forget me not. And I will think of From the airport rest spot to Palmer Road, it's about a 12 mile jaunt through the Solomon Hills. There are two climbs, the first of which is the exit from Orca, a long 5 mile sustained false flat climb ending in a steep little 1 mile pitch of around 6% on Clark Road. One thing making the course even tougher was the fact that we'd been in the sun all day and it was getting hot. Two things this Oregon rider just isn't used to, at least in March. On Dominion Road, you begin the second climb of this section. This is a one mile, 240 foot climb with three to four percent grades and a few pitches right at five percent. The map at the Palmer Road rest stop says it all. Four more climbs to go including the wall. And it was at Palmer Road that the wear and tear of the sun, the heat, the bad roads, and the climbs was beginning to take its toll. This 18 mile stretch to the next rest stop is a tough section with 1200 feet of climbing. Most of the climb is a gradual false flat ascent up Foxen Canyon Road with grades in the 1-2% range 
and occasional bumps up to 3 to 4 percent. As you can see, some riders were beginning to melt down along this stretch. At mile 84, however, you'll start to climb up the wall. A one mile, 290 foot climb with grades of 6 to 8 percent. By itself, it's really not a tough climb, but after 85 miles of riding, it's a real leg cruncher, especially in the heat. Finally, at mile 85, the top of the wall. She's not Only 15 miles left till home, but you're not home yet. The skies are cold and gray. The storm is on its way. The flat horizon, leafless trees, there's nothing. It seemed to take a while for everyone to get going after the final rest stop. But only 12 miles left to go, the final stretch. And there's only 600 feet of climbing. It's really a descent to the finish, but it's tough nonetheless, with three short, nasty leg-breaking climbs left to go. The first of these climbs is the toughest. It's a short, half-mile, 230-foot climb out of Zaka Creek, just a mile or so after the final rest stop. It's pretty straight and sun exposed, and quite frankly, I felt worse on this climb than I did on the wall. The second climb is a short, half mile, 150 foot climb that is a beautiful switchbacky little climb of 5 to 9 percent. Your reward for this climb is a beautiful, switchbacky, thrilling, fun filled. Descent. Memories of golden days when we first met and parted ways too soon. Distance lost its flight. When you and finally, with two miles left to go, there's a short one half mile, 115 foot climb up the flanks of Chalk Hill. From here, though, it's all downhill. Let me shake away the cloudy Thanks for watching. Sky.